Hi there, my name is Tristan Nichols. I'm the defence reporter for the Herald. I'm down here at Devonport Naval Base to report on a three, the culmination of a three and a half year project uh, which has seen the complete refit of HMS Victorious, a Vanguard class submarine. Um, it's taken about 2.2 million hours and 300 million pounds to complete. I'll be having a word with some of the project managers um, to discuss the skilled workforce and how they got on. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what's so momentous about today? Well, today we're finishing um, HM, the refit of HMS Victorious, which has been here in Devonport for three and a half years. And she is just about to leave Devonport now and, and sail back to Faz Lane from where she operates. Um, and it's the culmination of a huge project undertaken here at Devonport Dockyard, which we started in 2005. Brilliant. So that's three and a half years. Um, how, much, uh, how much has the project cost you? The project has taken um, about 2.2 million man-hours and about 1,000 people and the Ministry of Defence have invested around £300 million of money in making sure that this submarine is fit to operate over the next 14 to 15 years. Brilliant. And what sort of improvements have been made to her? We've undertaken over 80 significant changes to the submarine, including upgrades to the weapon systems uh, and uh, putting in a new reactor core which will last the submarine the remainder of its operating life. Now, I believe this has been a particularly challenging um, task, uh, refitting this submarine, as, as indeed it would be to refit any submarine. Um, how pleased are you? How proud should we be of our, our skills workforce down at Devonport? Well, submarines are, are quite a, a secretive area of work that we don't often talk about it, and we don't often publicise what we do, but the team who have worked on board HMS Victorious over the last three and a half years have been fantastic. Over a thousand of the most highly skilled people you could meet, um, from the shipwrights to the mechanical fitters to the electrical fitters to the managers to the test engineers, they've done a brilliant job. Their teamwork has been phenomenal, their dedication has been outstanding, and I think it is marked by the quality of the submarine which has been delivered today. I've been here uh, over 20 years and this is the best they've ever achieved. And um, it goes without saying really, in today's current economic climate, we should be really shouting about how great we really are down here. Absolutely. The, um, the fact that we have such a steady workload on submarines here, that we've had for the last few years, and will continue to have, is very important. Um, but you, your success will only be determined by how good you are and I'm delighted that um, this team has once again shown that they can deliver an outstanding product. We should all be very proud of them. I have been to different submarine places in different parts of the world and in my view this team are the best. She's going to be sailing out I believe later on this week. What, what's she going to be doing then? Uh, she'll be going on sea trials um, for a period of about three to four months where although we've done a lot of testing here in the Devonport uh, dockyard and naval base, then uh, we'll be doing some testing out in open waters uh, with the, the, the ship's company doing the testing and again a Babcock team also on board assisting the, assisting the Navy with their testing work. Brilliant. Why are we here today? Uh, we're here to uh, show you uh, HMS Victorious, which has been through a three and a half year long overhaul period and refuel. Um, and it's really to show you the platform before she departs uh, from Devonport on a period of sea trials. Um, from what I hear, it's been a very successful operation. Yes, I believe so. We've, uh, we've come in, uh, in inside our approvals for both time and cost. Uh, and uh, also, I believe that the quality of the submarine is of a, a very high standard, ready to uh, go back into operational service. I believe that around a thousand um, um, employees of Babcock were involved in the in the refit. How many how many guys from the MOD side were involved? Okay, there's, um, there's probably over 10,000 people which are involved in the LOPAR at various stages throughout the three and a half years. Um, the Ministry of Defence side, um, it would be difficult to put an absolute figure on it, but um, uh, there, are, there is only a very small cell of people uh, down on site, but uh, we are the, uh, the conduit into a much bigger organisation based up in Abbeywood in Bristol. How good an advert is it for the skills force down here to the rest of the world? Um, projects of this nature are probably um, one of the most complex projects um, that uh, can be undertaken. Um, certainly uh, in the local area, this is um, 
uh, an extremely complex uh, and difficult project um, which we've had very good results on. Uh, the Ministry has to work very closely with its contractors and in particular uh, with Babcock Marine to get the high standards that uh, have been achieved. Brilliant. And can you tell me about the number of, um, number of hours that were involved in the three and a half years, how much the project cost and, and really some of the improvements that have been made? Absolutely. Uh, it, the overall cost is um, uh, it's £270 million, which includes uh, investing 2.2 million man-hours of direct labour. Uh, we've removed 12 out, over 12,000 items of equipment and uh, we've inspected over 450 systems.